Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, previously, as you can see, we uh, designed this layout for our home page. And in today's episode, I want to uh, create a, a navigation bar. I mean the drawer. And, and if we click on it, we will see it. So let's start to build this uh, sidebar. Okay, here as you can see, I have a file sidebar index.js inside my project, which is uh, completely empty. I want to uh, build my sidebar here and then I will connect it to my app.js file, uh, actually connecting it to the native base library. Okay. Uh, Let's start by writing our first component here. Yes, uh, I'm going to name it sidebar and uh, we don't use any estates. And here, let's remove it from here. And first of all, I need a container as we are using native base. All the elements should be located inside the container tag. And then inside the container, I'm gonna have uh, a new library here to use actually something like grids uh, I will explain you what is it really let me bring this page here uh, inside native base if you search for uh, layout or grid you will see that uh, you can use easy grid of native base and if you uh, click on it you will be redirected to another uh, library which is developed by uh, native base uh, app, app developers I mean the geeky ants uh, team and it's a very well library to building layouts like this. You can see that you have a grid tag inside it. You can use columns or rows to have, for example, your proper layout design. It's uh, totally flexible. You also can uh, use Flexbox uh, instead of this. But for the guys that uh, are not familiar with a uh, flexbox uh, maybe using this uh, small library uh, can be helpful okay let's back to our project just don't forget if you are using grid tag you have to install this command inside your project actually you should uh, insert this command inside our terminal and then you are allowed to import grid, row, column from React Native is a grid. Uh, I shouldn't actually import grid from native base. Import grid. Sorry. From React. Do we have it here? Not React Native Easy Grid. Let me check. Have I installed it before or not? Mm, it seems I haven't installed it. So let's do it together. Yes. Uh, for the sidebar section, we could use Flexbox 
but uh, for uh, having more information about the grid I decided to implement it with uh, this library to show you how many options you have and you can select which one that you are comfortable with uh, to continue just wait a second to be installed we can continue our work here uh, we ha yeah it's installed and inside my grid I'm gonna have two rows so the first row and just copying it and within our row tag I need a text it should be imported from native base and I'm gonna put it inside it uh, a text for example name of my application my wallpaper app okay here inside the editor row I'm gonna have a content and within it uh, I need uh, to show uh, actually the items that you, the user can click on them and go to another sections of my app so I'm gonna use a list and to do it you should import list, icon, list item from native base again and you should also enable icon uh, in order to have uh, icon inside a list and inside it as we did previously we can use left or right or body tags to uh, somehow uh, aligning our items within each uh, link or list item and I'm gonna use an icon here icon should be imported from native base yeah and it must be active by default and here I should specify which icon do I want to use so I'm gonna use iOS arrow drop right let's remove the rest it's not necessary and for the body side actually in the center of this item I'm gonna have another text and put the name of the link for example home page and finally mm, nothing from uh, here I just want to add another lace item let's make it easy and copy it but don't forget to change everything uh, for this I uh, item icon uh, will be the same but uh, I'm gonna change the text maybe contact us and also another one for for example our terms and conditions or more apps you can copy it uh, as much as you want and uh, replicate it okay uh, let's define some styles for it mm, actually before uh, adding a styles I want to see what uh, currently I built so for just testing I want to remove home page and add our sidebar just for checking everything and then I will uh, come back to the previous state 
it seems that our server is not connected let's fix it okay uh, let's again start the project npm start I guess we forgot to import react and uh, what was it imc import react component yeah ah oh. We forgot to add row and yeah, just it content also should be added from React. Uh, sorry, native base. And yes, uh, we need to have some styles for it, but our lace is good now let's write our styles const style style sheet uh, I'm gonna use style sheet ABI style sheet I should import it from React Native. Import style sheet from React Native. Yes, and then create method. I'm gonna have a box with height. Uh, to 100 pixels and align item should be flex and and background color should be for example 2929.91 and let's have a little bit padding for it maybe 20 pixels and a margin for bottom side and 30 pixel what's wrong with it const sorry and let's write other styles here then assign them app name and color is gonna be white and font size maybe 25 pixels is enough i just need another uh, class for text and set the color black okay uh, well let's using them sign them uh, I'm gonna assign box to our first row uh, style yeah size box and 
for this text I'm gonna use a style size app name and then here for this one style it's gonna be size text yeah, as you can see, uh, we made our sidebar and we just need to configure it inside native base in order to behave like a, a regular um, driver in Android or iOS applications. So let's do it. I'm going to use the home page again here. Uh, adding the driver is so easy, I just need to put everything inside another component named drawer. We should import it from native base and put everything inside the drawer component and we just need adding some props. For it, first of all, I need to have access to the reference. So let's write an arrow function to get the reference. This underlying drawer is gonna be the ref. And what else do I need? I just need to specify which L, uh, file should I uh, should this drawer use to show for the sidebar. I just need to specify it using content prop and use that component here. Sidebar. Yes, uh, let me check, is it imported or not? Yeah. And also, uh, it's better, yeah, I need to another functions here for opening the drawer and closing it. Close drawer. This drawer root and then close. API should be called and something like this for the open. Just change it to open is enough and I need to specify uh, this function here for open drawer. is open drawer and let's bind it to this okay I guess everything is ready just I need to make sure that inside the home page uh, am I using this function to yeah as you can see I'm using open drawer and it will run this function for me and it will say to the native base to open the drawer and then my sidebar component will be loaded and show let me check it yes as you can see we implemented the drawer so easy Okay guys, if you are interested in uh, learning more in React Native, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, put the thumbs up underneath this video. Thank you guys for watching.